Hi, everyone, and welcome to California Live from SF MoMA, a very special place. And good morning, Danny and Jess. Take a look at the Diego Rivera Pan American Unity Mural. Uh, good morning, Malou. It is massive and it's absolutely magnificent. I got to ask you, where did it come from? Oh my gosh, it came from City College of San Francisco, which is only five miles from here, but you can tell by the size, it definitely was a massive journey. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's an understatement. Isn't that thing like 30 tons, Malou? How in the world do you move something like that? <laughs> yeah, right? Leave it to the masters to move a masterpiece. I and mean, it took a, definitely a long time to move this masterpiece. And just to give you some perspective, it is 22 feet high, 74 feet wide, 10 panels, and like you said, Danny, 60,000 pounds or 30 tons. And the man known as the guardian of the mural is Will. Great to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, so when and where did Diego Rivera paint this mural? Well, Diego Rivera painted this mural at the Golden Gate International Exposition out on Treasure Island in 1940. He was part of a program called Art in Action. Okay, so what is the general theme of this mural all along these 10 panels? Well, we call it... Pan American unity and and Diego Americas to join together in Europe. The Nazis were running amok, and he was basically saying the Nazis are coming. The Nazis are coming. Yeah. So I see that there are some photos of the bay. He used that as a backdrop here. Yes. Yeah, somebody gave him a, a aerial photograph of the bay, and it became like a substrate to connect uh, three of the panels together. Yeah. And so, what does the center part represent right here? For this whole theme, the left-hand side is two aspects of the Aztec goddess Cuatlicue, and the right-hand side is a stamping machine he previously painted for the Fords in Detroit. Okay, so Will, I described you as the guardian of the mural. Why do they call you the guardian of the mural? Well, I never knew what to call myself, the, the steward, the, the storyteller. And a couple of years ago, some dignitaries came from Sencropom, which is the Mexican organization in charge of conserving all Mexican art. And when I was trying to explain to them in my Spanish uh, what I did, they said, oh, no, you're El Custodio. You're the guardian. All right, Will. Well, you've done a very nice job of being the guardian. Thank you very much. We're going to move over here right now to Kiernan, who's going to tell us how they have conserved this mural here. Kiernan, great to see you. So what did it take to transfer this mural from City College all the way here to SFMOMA? Um, it was actually such a complex puzzle to solve because of how it was installed at City College. Um, it took three years of multidisciplinary research. Um, SF MoMA assembled teams from the U.S. and Mexico to figure out every um, piece and method to, to transport it. Okay, so in transporting it, I understand you moved one panel at a, at a time in the middle of the night. Yeah, so um, at 3 in the morning, we all assembled at CCSF, loaded the, cart, um, the panels individually in specially um, fabricated carts that are sort of like um, how satellites um, are built to re-enter the atmosphere. That's how, you know, careful we, and on the back of flatbed trucks. Yeah, and so what was it like once it finally got to Howard Street? <laughs> Howard Street was spectacular. They craned each individual panel over the lanes of traffic and the Muni lines, gently placing it down on the breezeway and rolling it on the carts into the gallery space. All right, and so we're, when you finally got it in here, we see that there are some people working on it. They're conserv conserving it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so people can come and they're going to be here actually working on it. What does it take to conserve this? Um, well, we have a, an amazing team of expert conservators who do condition assessments, stabilization and protection of the mural um, to keep it safe while it's being transported. Yeah, all right, Kiernan, well, you've done a very nice job on this paint. It looks beautiful, just like from when it was painted 81 years ago. So thank you very much. All right, so Danny and Jess also want to mention to you that people can come here in the free space of the museum and check it out. And then for more information, just go to sfmoma.org. Wow, it's uh, absolutely stunning, Molo. Yeah. Danny, I think it's yeah. safe to say that uh, the city of San Francisco has a new must-see work of art, right? 